How you doing, everybody? Welcome back. I'm gonna put my gloves on here. I got my summer gloves. I'm wearing my summer clothes. It's gonna be uh, 90, 90 degrees in the afternoon. It's already in the 80s. I could already feel the humidity. I could feel the uh, it rained a lot over the weekend. So I could feel the humidity. I'm wearing my sweatband. My wrist sweatband really so I can wipe the sweat off my forehead and take my helmet off. Alright, grocery bag. I'm gonna pick up picking up lunch. Batteries on, cameras are on. Everything's good to go. Alright, bike is on. Let's get going. All right. All right. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see, I'll take the shortcut today. Gotta, gotta keep an eye out. Today's trash day, by the way. Normally I go dumpster diving or treasure hunting. In other words, I pick up other people's trash, something I can use, but nope. Not because, not today, because of the pandemic, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything like that. <laughs> Anyways, I did pick up a uh, lunch earlier today and, uh, Man, unfortunately, uh, I ran over some baby ducks, some chicks, unfortunately. Man, couldn't help it. Uh, so, as I was riding around, or driving, I was looking at the lakes. I, I was contemplating whether to go kayaking or riding the bike, and uh, I just chose to ride the bike today. chose to ride the bike today. Oh look, somebody's for sale sign. Or for rent sign is being blown out here. Watch out, B. All right, they cut the grass here. So uh, I had a choice of uh, riding the bike or uh, going kayaking. I chose to ride the bike today because uh, it rained recently and the water levels are a little bit higher and it's a little bit, I don't know, I just, uh, I wanted to go ride the bike today. I felt like riding the bike. I wanted to go out, get beat in the sun, but get a cool breeze. And get a cool breeze while uh, enjoying the outdoors. And also, I'll be picking up food this way. So I'm gonna pick up food. So everything's gonna work out good. And so, gonna pick up some food. Gonna go out, ride the bike. Uh, I did ride the kayak, uh, I think, a week ago. That was fun. Riding the kayak is always fun. My handlebars are slightly crooked here, but that's all right. So, ride the, I did ride the kayak. I was thinking about riding the kayak today, but, uh, you know, just changed my mind. Just wanted to ride a bike. I'm trying to leave early enough so I can uh, enjoy the ride. Kayaking can be fun, but uh, it takes a whole different resource and I have to use my truck to get to the lake or the pond area. And then, uh, you know, it takes, 
takes a whole different kind of effort. Just didn't feel like doing that today. I thought about it, but changed my mind. Prefer to do this. This I can do like every day and uh, enjoy the ride. Oh, nice and sunny today. Very sunny today. Blue skies, really nice. So I'm gonna go pick up food. My wife did go shopping today and she told me that uh, there was not a lot of people. They're still doing the uh, the uh, social distancing thing over there. They got everyone was wearing masks. All the employees were wearing masks. They got distances on the on the ground, like staying six feet apart. So all that was done. There are limits to how much meat you can buy, but they're not as severe as I originally thought. I thought that maybe you could only buy two of any kind of meat. Apparently, there's only there's some things that they do have a limit on, some things they don't, and you can buy two or three or no limits of any kind of meat. So that's good news. So I'm good. So we got some, we got some uh, hot wings. My wife's gonna fry some hot wings up tonight. Little chicken drums, you know, the little, little wings. They're actually little arms, but uh, you know what I'm talking about. I fry up some chicken. Those days are like special to me. And she did buy some ground beef and other meat and salmon, I think. Uh, I might go to the store today after I pick up food. I'm actually low on gas. I'm half, I have half a tank of gas. Gas is like 131 or 134. That's pretty low. I'm gonna try to fill up on gas as much as I can. And uh, hopefully, uh, and hopefully, uh, there's not going to be an issue with that. So I'll do that when I go to the grocery store. I go to HEB. It's like five minutes from me. I just I just go to the closest one. I pick up uh, like 90 percent or 93 percent beef and. 7 to 10% fat. I like lean ground beef because uh, I'm going to make beef jerky. Uh, I ran out of beef jerky during the whole pandemic crisis. And uh, now I'm going to start making some more beef jerky. Let's see this car behind me. There was a truck behind me. So, uh, so I'm gonna go back to making ground beef turkey. Got the beef turkey mix. Gonna probably make a lot of it just to have, so I can have uh, ground beef when uh, when I uh, if there's a second wave. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there is gonna be a second wave of this coronavirus, but uh, you know. Oh, looks like it's 11 o'clock already. Must be 11 o'clock, my uh, alarm's ringing. So the second wave could possibly be happening and I got three months to prepare. I'm trying to look for ammo, ammunition. If there's any available, there probably isn't. I'm, all, I'm already okay with the ammo, but I just wanna, you know, a little bit more wouldn't hurt. We don't know how long this ammunition shortage is gonna happen seems to be very prevalent, very, very prevalent. Ammo shortages, some food shortages. So far, uh, because of the limits that grocery stores are putting on meat, uh, there's not a, a mad, you know, dash to uh, hoard meat products, meat produce. So uh, seems like there's enough meat for everyone to go around. So there's really not much of a shortage as I anticipated, but you never know. One day you, you might not have any meat. That could be possible. So 
So for the next three months, I'm going to uh, prepare for the winter, uh, really prepare for a potential second wave of the coronavirus. Let me see, today's uh, May 18th. June is really around the corner. And uh, let's see if I can get by here. Hopefully they've uh, got this thing. All right, I can get by. All right, so, okay, good. I can get by. I don't have to take the, uh, the street. Although I wouldn't mind, I can take the street too. I think my alarm is still going. Oh, flashback. <laughs> I think a little bit slower here, not go so fast. That was my first mistake, going too fast in this, uh, it's not that narrow, I know it looks narrow on the video, but uh, just going too fast in tight spaces is not a good idea. You know, you have like, when you get faster you go, you have milliseconds to react. And uh, also, the faster you go, you may not be able to react because the forces, g-forces and gravity and all this other stuff may prevent you from, from making a, an emergency uh, reaction. It did rain a couple days ago here. Let's see how much rain. I think it should be okay for me to get on the uh, grass here. Do my normal shortcut. I think it is a tree to reach. Okay, good. There we go. Uh, sorry if you hear my alarm going off, but uh, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna deal with it right now. I don't wanna deal with it right now. Just don't want to deal with it right now, you know. I got uh, I got to focus on the road. After you break your hand riding a bicycle, you uh, you don't want to you don't want to break it again or break any other bones. Hard lesson. Not that uh you know not that people intentionally do this, but sometimes going faster is not better. More power is not necessarily better. Oh, I can see the birds. I see the birds, they're making their nest underneath the bridge that time of year. I like bird watching, I enjoy it immensely. I don't know, something relaxing about it. I just coast down here. If there is a stoplight, I will turn off the alarm. Pretty sure you're a little tired of hearing it. I think there is a stoplight, yeah. I'm just gonna follow this track here. All right, let me turn off the alarm real quick. All right. All right, got my music back on. I'm gonna go ahead and merge into traffic. I gotta make a left turn here anyway. All right, this guy wants to let me go in here. Not. 
anyways, it doesn't matter. I get to be outside, I get to ride the bicycle. That's what counts. That's what matters. That's all I really care about. It is humid. Uh, still slightly cool from, uh, from all the rain, but still humid. Still humid from the rain. All right, I got a green arrow, left turning arrow coming up here. Okay. All right. Going at pretty good speeds here. Got a nice fresh battery. Nice fresh battery. Ugh. Oh, nice sunny day. So I seems like everything is kind of getting back to normal, but not getting back to normal. School will be out in about another month. So um, I'm stocking up on all the school food, all the free food that I can get. Because, uh, let's face it, feeding people, feeding your family costs money. And, you know, I do believe food prices will go up. Food prices will go up. <laughs> Hold on here. Let's take a look at how much rain there was. I'm gonna have just a little bit of fun here. Should have gone the other way, but that's all right. Oh yeah, there's a lot of water. I was thinking about taking a kayak here, but the water has to be low. You can see all the birds, actually. But you can see some cranes over there. Cranes and herons. Yeah, there's about a good uh, inch of water right here. And you can see over there, you can see all the birds. Let me see if I can get into a better area. There you go. You can see all the birds over there. They're starting to make their nest underneath the bridges. Kind of cool to watch them, actually. They make these little mud nests and uh, do it during the first part of late late spring, early uh, summer. They're all over the place. They're almost at every bridge. It's kind of fun to watch them. But they're gathering mud. They do this especially after the rain because uh, the dirt is muddy, and so it's. Uh, they're making their nest here. They're very busy making their nest. Yeah, there's about an inch of water here. Let's see here. Let's go right through it. Yeah, there's like an inch of water flowing through here. So it rains. It rains a lot too. I'm gonna throttle here. Let's throttle. Oh, it got a little wet. It's alright. I got my sandals on with. My outdoor socks. Yeah, throttle only. It works. It's slow, but it'll get you there. Uh, a little water smell, a little stagnant. It smells a little stagnant there. Anyways, let's get back to the high school. Traffic coming. Little rocks here. Uh, all right, just wanted to check that out. It's fun to watch. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna conclude this episode. Please like, share, comment, give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you've been doing. Are you having fun riding your bike? Uh, last time I checked the Red Power Bikes website, uh, it seems like uh, it seems like they're all sold out. Uh, all the exception for I think there's oh the Red Runner the. The original Red Runner 1 is the only thing that's not sold out. I personally think the Red Runner 1 is not a big seller. 
that's my personal feelings. Red Runner 1 is not a big seller. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get to the high school, charge my battery, wait for uh, 11.30, which is about 10 to 20 minutes here, and uh, charge my batteries up here, and then head on back home with lunch. All right. All right, everyone. Bye.